Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan, and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing the charmed episode, The Good, The Bad, and The Curse. Now, the title of this episode is a spoof of the title for the movie, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Which is a fucking awesome movie, by the way. But anyway, this episode mixes magic with the Wild West. And I have to admit, that is a fucking awesome concept and it was executed so well in this episode. So the episode basically begins with Phoebe and Victor visiting an abandoned town. And then all of a sudden Phoebe sees some fucking ghosts and she unfortunately feels some pain. Thankfully only her mouth was bleeding so it's nothing serious. But as it turns out when she gets back home she has a vision of being shot and unfortunately she feels that pain as well. Yeah! A guy from the past, Bo Lightfeather, somehow has a connection with Phoebe. And whatever pain he felt in the past, Phoebe felt that pain as well. But anyway, after Ko realizes what's happening to Phoebe, he wants to help her. But unfortunately, the Charmed Ones and Leo don't really trust him. Which is understandable since he is a demon. But he's still in fucking love with Phoebe, so I think the Charmed Ones should have trusted him. Again, it's understandable that they don't, but whatever. In the next scene, Leo has a conversation with Victor. Victor goes on and on about how much he fucking hates white lighters. And yeah, I could unfortunately easily tell that he was not ready to handle the truth. But by the end of the conversation, Leo orbs out of the restaurant. Why did Leo do that? Couldn't he just walk away and orb while Victor didn't see him? Doesn't make a big difference anyway. Victor would have found out the truth eventually. Anyway, Leo tries to heal Phoebe, but unfortunately he can't because it wasn't really Phoebe who got shot. It's Bo Lightfeather and whatever pain he felt in the past is a pain that Phoebe somehow feels as well. So there was only one thing to do. Prue and Cole here to go to the fucking past and stop Bo from being injured. So they go to the 19th century and that town in the Wild West does look fucking cool. But anyway, they are at a bar and Cole tries to tell Prue that they shouldn't interact with the people too much. But when Sutter injured an innocent man, Prue decided that she had no choice but to stand up against that cunt. Fortunately, Cole Somo manages to have a shotgun, so there isn't much Sutter can do. And then Prue and Cole try to find out where exactly Bo is. Meanwhile, at the present day, Piper and Leo go to the abandoned town to see if they can find something. And they find a fucking newspaper which tells that Prue and Cole do not have as much time left as I thought. Somehow, they here to find a way to warn Prue and Cole about it. So there was only one thing to do. Phoebe here to somehow get a vision into Bo's head. It was very tough for her since usually she doesn't get to control her visions but they had to do it regardless. And Victor is very angry at Leo since he still doesn't trust him and claims that Leo should be able to do more since he is supposed to be a guardian angel. But Leo of course points out to him that they are doing something, Prue and Cole are doing anything they could. Surprising, the vision works. Both photos and trust Prue and Cole at all. But thankfully that vision convinces him to trust them. And then later, the villain of the episode, Sutter, tortures Bo. 
And now comes my favorite scene of this entire episode. Hulk makes a speech to the rest of the citizens and tells them to stand up to that cunt. And every citizen of that town aim their guns at that cunt. That scene is so fucking awesome. And it also is a scene that would fit perfectly in a fucking awesome western. Prue and Cole go back to the present, but before they do, Cole starts burning one of Shutter's assistants. But after they get back to the present, everything returns back to normal. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This episode is fucking awesome. It makes its magic with the Wild West and does it so well. As for that, I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. I fucking love it a lot. Well, guys, that's all I've got to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.